Anyways, this is a 40 footer. It has a bunch of little rooms in it. Wait till you see it. We have um, an area here where the milk truck is going to be pulling up and then bringing the milk in through that stainless port right there. You walk into just, you could say, utility room, entry room. There is the boiler to heat the vat, on-demand hot water heater because combi boilers don't get hot enough. Little electric panel, yes, I know the wires in it because it's connected to electric right now. Here is the bathroom, a little toilet and hand sink, that's what makes up the bathroom. Oh, and fart fan. This has a water softener kit with it that um, the customer bought and sent to us. And then in the processing room, 100 gallon Anco wingtop pasteurizer. And then over here we have the water pump. This is pumping the hot water into the pasteurizer. Chart recorder, the agitator drive, airspace heater box exhaust fan the piping I'll try to get a better angle the piping goes from the bottom to the pump and then up through the tube cooler to cool the milk after pasteurization it's hooked up now to go back to the vat I lied, it's hooked up to be washed. Well, this pipe can come down and that it goes back to the bat. And then carriage machine shop bottler. Triple sink, hand sink, hot water heater, our filtered air intake, and then this is the spot where the mini split will go for heat and AC. And then finally, a closet, which will one day be a lab closet, or it could be just a utility closet, whatever you choose to do with it. It is really the complete setup for processing bottled milk and all you need in addition to this is cold storage and dry storage.